Hey everyone, Jersey Posner here with Up Close Travel. We help you get up close with the world's greatest destinations. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Ritz-Carlton Yacht Collection and their brand new ship, the Ilma, which comes out in 2024. Reservations open on March 9th, so just in a few days, but if you're a Mar Marriott Bonvoy member, depending on your uh, status, you may be able to book earlier. Before we look at the Ilma, if you have any questions about the Ritz-Carlton Yacht Collection, the Ilma, or anything travel, I'd love to help. If you need help planning your journey, please contact me anytime soon seven days a week by phone, email, or text. The Ritz-Carlton has the Avrima sailing now since October. It's a great ship. I was able to tour it the other day and I'm gonna have a video out of a ship tour in the next day. So if you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be notified. If you're watching this video at a later date, I'm gonna link that video to this video. The Avrima is a beautiful ship. It accommodates 298 guests. The Ilma is gonna be just a little less than twice the size, but it's gonna accommodate just 456 guests. So not quite double the amount of people that the Avrima has. Now let's take a look at the Ilma. We're gonna take a look at some photos. We're gonna take a look at the itineraries available to book. And then we're also gonna take a look at the different suite categories. Okay, so here is the Ilma. So starts sailing in 2024. Looks uh, similar to the Avrima. Here is the water sports platform at the back of the ship here. So you'll be able to do uh, several different activities right from the back of water sports platform. And the name, the Ilma, pays homage to the sea. So Ilma in Maltese means water. The Ritz-Carlton is not cruising, it is yachting. So there are 228 suites on board, all have private terraces. And uh, many of the category staterooms do have, or at least are at least 1,000 square feet and larger. You'll have five restaurants on board, six bars, and also a wine vault. Of course, you have the Ritz-Carlton legendary service. And of course, you have the freedom to explore. The yacht is a smaller ship, so you're going to be able to get into ports many of the larger ships cannot reach. Okay, so here we are on the top deck. This is the pool deck. So there's a pool up top. There's a second pool towards the back, which we'll take a look at as well. But this pool is a little bit bit bigger than you'll see on the Avrima. Very nice, comfortable loungers, nice big pool, and you'll just be able to come up here, take in the sights with a cocktail at night, a coffee for the uh, sunrise, just a real nice, comfortable place. Here's another view of the aft of the ship, and here is the other pool area. You have two whirlpools. You have the marina platform back here, and then here are some of the staterooms, and you can see the private terraces. Here's their private dining area. So Avrima has this also. So if you are traveling with a group of people or you meet people on board or you're traveling for an event, you can rent out this space and have private uh, a private dinner. And the Ilma will set sail next September and it starts in the Mediterranean. Here are the itineraries that are available that will become available to book. Uh, the first sailing will be September 19th, 2024. If you're interested in receiving this brochure, just drop me a line or give me a call and I'd be happy to share this with you. But we're going to quickly go through the itineraries. September 19, 2024 is the first sailing from Athens to Haifa on a seven night sailing. Second sailing is 12 nights from Haifa to Rome, September 26th, 2024. October 8th is Rome round trip. Do a couple of overnights here, including the Amalfi Coast. On October 15th, seven nights Rome to Barcelona. Then there's a 10 night October 22nd Barcelona to Lisbon. Here there are three overnights and then the six sailing from the Mediterranean to the Caribbean. So this is the transatlantic from Lisbon to San Juan on a 13 night sailing. Again, if you'd like to see this and you'd like to look at the itinerary in further detail, you can reach out to me and I'll send this to you or you can call me and we can go over it. Here we're going to take a look at these suites on board the Elma. First, we'll look at the amenities. These are going to be across every single stateroom. So all staterooms are going to have a nice spacious private terrace. You have a luxurious custom king bed sleep system, double vanity bathrooms, custom luxury bed and bath linens. You have an espresso machine for teas and coffees, a mini bar, which will be stocked with what you like to drink, a complimentary bottle of champagne upon arrival, 24 hour in suite dining, individual robe and slippers, complimentary Wi-Fi in your suite and around the ship, access to a personal concierge, in suite safe hypoallergenic pillows and different outlets for all your electronic devices here we'll take a look at the staterooms on board so the owner suite this is the top of the line there are eight here on board 
On the Arima, there are only two owner suites. Here on the Ilma, there will be eight. These suite sizes range from 732 square feet to over just over a thousand square feet. Terrace size is 581 to 721 square feet. Here is what the room will look like, nice and bright. And here's the floor plans. The concierge suites, these are 689 square feet to 785 square feet. Terrace size is 355 to 409 square feet. The Ilma suites, there are four of these on board, 506 square feet to 657. Terrace size is 291 to 301 square feet. Lots of outdoor space here on your private terraces. The view suite, there are two of these on board. They range from 517 to 689 square feet. The suite size in the terrace outdoors is 108 to 205 square feet. Lots of space here, so if you want to entertain, you have a dining set for six people and lots of space in your living room here. Panorama suites, there are two of these on board, 646 square feet. Terrace is 118 square feet. The grand suite, these are there are 32 of these on board. These are 560 square feet. The terrace goes from 90 to 199 square feet. Here is the floor plans. Signature suites, there are 77 of these on board. They are 409 square feet in size indoor. The terrace is 71 to 151 square feet. Lots of space in all these suites. And the terrace suite, this is the entry suite into the Ilma. So suite size is 294 square feet. Terrace is 52 to 108 square feet. So nice, bright. And so if you do have any questions on the Ritz-Carlton or the Ilma, or if you do need help planning your journey, I'd love to help. Uh, you can contact me anytime, seven days a week by phone, email, or text. Thank you so much for watching and uh, take care.